What's up guys? Today I'm coming at you with a quick overview of my lawnmower. Uh, I've had it about, I don't know, about seven years. I did a, I did a little overview on it, I don't know, a couple years ago. It seemed to do pretty good. Um, this one has a bagging system on it. Uh, this a little door operated system. I've just been using it for trash because I'm not using the bagger at the moment. Uh, got a hose that hooks into there. You go down there, you lift up your door on here, and that screw right there, uh, that's how you attach it. And it screws in. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a hole on the inside of that that it goes into. Um, it is a six. You got, well, one, two, three, four, five heights of cut. It's dirty. Uh, that's your PTO. That engages and disengages your belt, your deck belt. I know it's dirty. Uh, it's a Bronco, Troy built Bronco. Uh, with the lights. Uh, my last video, I think the lights, <laughs> both of them, one of them was out. But what happens is you get, and I'll show you, right there where those connectors are. It, this thing shakes and rattles so bad it'll rattle and connections loose just put some electrical grease on and uh they'll snug right up and have a better connection um it's a 19 horsepower uh twin cam kohler engine i just got through cutting that's why it's so dirty and i ain't feel like watching before i did this video if you look down we'll go on the other side and look at it uh i dropped that deck down <laughs> If you look at the deck i've got mine open because it's got guards on it because if you get all that trash in there it tells you it tears your belts up uh there's some mud down on the road where i was cutting that's why it's so dirty um it's been a good lawnmower over the years uh you got a nice little cup holder for your beverage of choice um it's been an overall good lawnmower i can't complain uh right here if you look right here, I disconnected the two uh, safety switches so it can be fired when I'm not on it. And so it can cut in reverse. I, su I suggest you do that because <laughs> when you bagging and you getting it on and off this lawnmower, you're going to do it 20 times. My only complaint about this lawnmower is the pulleys on it are cheap. Uh, the blade pulleys are good, but the... The idler pulleys are junk. I mean, they're just junk-ass aluminum stuff. Uh, you'll, you'll end up replacing them. Um, the belt will wear a... It'll wear them... It'll wear, a, it'll wear them out. Like, just... I tr I'm trying to see if I can show you. You see right there? That is... Open... I don't know if you can see that, but you see that middle groove, it'll put a groove in them where it'll wear it completely out. Uh, this lawnmower's got a, it's got an oil filter on it. So you can change your oil and there's how you change your air filter. It's just got a, like a gravity feed uh, fuel tank. That's a gallon fuel tank. Takes about a gallon to, to cut my yard. Uh, but I don't have the average size yard, and you look around, there's 11 acres, but I only cut like three of it. Uh, the steering wheel on it has plastic gears in it, and they will break, so you'll have to replace that. You're gonna have to replace uh, that belt, those belts right there. If that deck gets not level, like if you look at the front, there's a, a leveling bracket. And then on the back, you can adjust it. You're up, up and down. Make sure your belt, make sure your deck is level, the height on it, or the belt won't run true. And you'll, you'll be breaking belts going, what in the hell? Uh, I kind of figured out, got it in a position to where it won't break belts. Well, it don't break them. It just won't, they won't stay on. Uh, and that's why I pulled off that, uh, those, uh, the safety guards on the belt because it kept coming off and i'd have to screw the darn things on uh 
every single time. But overall, man, it's been a good lawnmower. Uh, we'll fire it up right quick. After I mash the clutch in. That's kind of what it sounds like when it's running. It's loud. And the reason I done that was uh, wear earplugs when you cut the grass or you will regret it. Um, your ears will be ringing the rest of the day. You got a flip up seat. That's kind of where your battery is. This is a replacement battery. I know this thing's dirty. I should have, uh, probably should have washed it, but I'm fixing to put it up. I don't feel like messing with it. Uh, you'll have to replace that battery it, the one that came with it lasted one year that one's lasted five so <laughs> they put a cheap battery on it when you get it you can adjust the seat with this little knob right here you can push it up or push it back depending on how tall you are uh, i kind of got mine i mean i'm not giant or i mean i'm a pretty small dude and i got i did move it up a little one notch uh I don't know, I guess I was trying to be a big boy. Uh, it is automatic. You got, uh, just put it in forward, uh, reverse, whatever. Uh, push the pedal to go. That's it. That, I said it was a clutch, but it's a brake. Um, it's pretty basic. Uh, just an automatic uh, Troy build. You'll choke it to, to crank it. It's got decent sized wheels and stuff on it. Uh, just the stuff that came with it. Uh, this is like kind of like a seven year, I guess it'd be a seven year review because I've had it for seven years. I have a, another video uh, where I did a five year review on it. You might want to check that one out because I might've said something different than that. I don't know. I'm just kind of going over quick. It was clean then too. So you, if you want to see that. Uh, overall, man, it's a pretty... It's a pretty stout looking lawnmower. I mean, Hank Hill would be proud. I mean, got your cup holder and all. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad looking lawnmower at all. Uh, I'd, you know, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll be glad to answer. I will tell you this right off. If you're not handy and able to, if you don't know how to use a wrench or you're not good with tools, then I probably wouldn't buy this home more. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. Because uh, I've had to work on it a lot. Uh, it has all the springs and stuff that on the brake pedal and the, and the gas pedal, they'll break. Instead of buying a new spring, you can just take the end of the ring, pull the rings out, and just kind of fabricate your own little hook. Uh, so keep that in mind if you ever have a broken spring. Uh, you can fabricate the old and the work, as long as you can find it. I've had to do that a couple of times. Uh, you have to adjust those that deck height on that thing. And, you know, the belt, I'm putting the belts on with no problem. The dry belt still works. It's never broke in seven years. Let's find some wood to knock on but uh that thing would probably be a pain in the ass to to change i uh, looked at it and it looks like you'd have to i don't know i guess i'd have to winch it up on top of my shed here and be able to get to it because or roll it over on the side uh it's been a good lawnmower as far as you know it's lasted a long time it's just like a car i mean as long as you keep up the maintenance on it and, and know how to work on things but I will suggest, if you had the money, buy John Deere. Uh, this seems like the quality is a little better because, like, Troy Built has been bought out by MT, MTD Brands. So a lot of this is, like, Chinese stuff. And that's why I'd kind of recommend, you know, buying a John Deere because, I mean, the quality, quality of it is a little better from, you know, from what I see and from what I hear. But, I mean, you could get junk no matter what you buy. I haven't had any major issues. That 19 horsepower Cola Courage engine has been top notch. Uh, that's probably the best part of the lawnmower. I think they're selling this. This is a 2013 model. I believe the ones that they're selling now are, 
Briggs and Stratton motors in them, maybe. If I'm, I mean, I'm, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what somebody was saying. Uh, but if you can get one with a Kohler motor, get it. It's excellent. Ain't never had a bit of problem. It always cranks. Uh, you know, keep the air filter. I've cleaned the air filter, I don't know, maybe four or five times. And I've changed the oil in it maybe four or five times in seven years. We probably should do it every year, but I, I don't use it enough. Uh, I probably cut the grass maybe once a month. Uh, you know, in the summertime, maybe twice a month. But, I mean, if you look at a lawnmower, I mean, it's, it's, it's job and its working environment is the harshest environment available, you know, in the world. I mean, all this dirt and mud and whatever you got in your yard. Uh, so, I mean, you know, I'd suggest, you know, buy what you can afford. If you, like I said, if you're handy with a wrench, this lawnmower will do you fine. If you ain't, you don't know how to work on nothing, buy the most expensive lawnmower you can afford and just hope it lasts for a while. This lawnmower lasted two seasons. I didn't do nothing to it. No kind of issues for two years. Uh, and then from then on, I've, every year I've had to do something. Like I put belts and blade on it this year. And back in April, this thing will chew. See what, see them blades? It will, these are chip. Because uh, I live in a sandy area, so they uh, they don't last. <laughs> I mean, it, that thing looks like a, like a, and it'll cut it down to like that big. It'll look like a steak knife. Uh, so if you live in a sandy area, be prepared to buy a lot of blades. You can buy them on like, Amazon for cheap. Don't buy them once. Spencer ones at these big box stores. I appreciate y'all watching the video. And like I said, if, if I left anything out, uh, drop it in the comments and I'll be glad to answer it. Everybody have a good day. I appreciate you watching and uh, later.